So we're going to work on the next step which is our hype signage. So what we firstly need to do is turn our layer on just so we can see it. And you can see that it's hidden um, partially underneath the original image. So we want to drag that layer uh, towards the top so that it brings out the entire image. We're going to use the marquee tool now and just uh, click and drag over the selection that we want to keep. Select inverse and then delete and that's going to delete the rest of our image. So uh, now all we need to do is just position it into uh, the correct spot. Uh, simple reasons that we chose this image originally because of that black baseline and also the top line blends in really well with our existing image. Use our old trick of the opacity tool and drop the opacity down to 50% and now we're going to just distort our uh, hype signage just so that those uh, top and bottom lines align with the rest of our uh, shop facade that we're doing. Um, it's pretty simple just to do that. Um, just move it across until you think it uh, looks okay. It doesn't matter if it's going over the original image as it blends in quite well how we've done it here. Bring the opacity back up to 100%. So now what we need to do is just make sure that uh, our, uh, our new baseline is going to be in line with the rest because we uh, want it to look as realistic as possible. So follow those lines along and then it's just a matter of tidying up um, any unwanted uh, rest of the space on the image. And that's just using the lasso tool. And then just go around those areas, delete them. It should be uh, quite consistent with that ceiling. Um, get rid of the uh, side by just using your marquee tool and delete and then go back to your lasso tool uh, again to do the base. So start from the outside like we've always told you, go along the edge, zoom in to any areas that you can't see being zoomed out. It's really important that you maintain that consistent baseline and you'll be able to zoom out afterwards. But just make sure that that baseline is neat and tidy and it's accurate. Um, if you're unsure you can always go back and, and do it again um, like we've done here. Um, it's a little bit untidy, so feel free to zoom in, adjust the signage if you need be, but that is uh, a bit of our mistake that we've done. So just go back in using the uh, lasso tool and just clean up un any unnecessary um, items that we've left behind. And then just deselect. And you can zoom out and you can now see that we've included the new hype signage into our image. Okay, so we're now going to work on our center shop. Uh, image that we're going to bring in and so to do that firstly we need to make sure that we're on the correct layer so this is entitled new shop so make sure we click on the layer and also make sure we click on the eye icon drag it so we know where it is uh, drag the layer right up to the top so that it's brought to the front then we're just going to reduce the size of it slightly so that we're going to get the height uh, approximately right and then we're going to using the lasso tool uh, make sure you zoom in as well when uh, you do this just to make sure that you get all the angles uh, and lines accurate. Select the lasso tool and we're going to go around the outline of this window of this shop. Hold down the shift key uh, to get a straight line down on those vertical lines. Um, you really want to be accurate with this so uh, zoom in extra if you need to. And then we're going to select inverse and we're going to delete the uh, the outside of what we've selected. Then it's just a matter of uh, dragging the new image that we have and placing it into um, our new image. And it's just a matter of clicking on, uh, right clicking and getting distort and just adjusting the angles of this new image so that it fits into uh, this shop facade. Again, resize it until you feel that uh, it is aligning with our original image, especially uh, that baseline. It's really important that when you place an image in, uh, that the baseline is what is accurate because otherwise our image won't look realistic. So we're just going to tweak the top and the bottom a little bit. Don't worry about the sign at the moment. We can come back to that in a moment. So just make sure that those lines are straight. Baseline, like I said, is uh, really important. Um, once you have a, have a fiddle uh, tweaking all the edges um, and you're still not happy with it, you can, can uh, zoom in. Uh, and reassess those areas again. So just distort again that area and just uh, fix it and uh, click enter when you're happy with it and zoom out so that you can see your full image. 
Now we just want to fix, uh, we'll come back to the sign like I said. The uh, next thing we want to fix up is just this corner down here. So again, distort. I'm just going to bring that baseline so it's in line with the other one. Um, and then we're just going to fix up that edging. So using your lasso tool, just uh, click along those edges so it's straight. Um, and join them up and delete them so that it is straight. Now the final thing that we need to do in order to fix the signage is all about the hierarchy of layers. So you'll see on the right hand side we originally moved our new shop uh, layer right up to the top. We need to move it down underneath our YMC new signage. So this means that the new signage is going to come in front of that layer because it's on top of it. Okay, so our final part to this video is our last shop facade on the right hand side of our image which we forgot to bring in originally in our very first image so we're just going to paste this image straight in uh, now we're not going to rename the layer for the moment just the first thing we're going to do is shrink it down like we've just shown you um, and you want to then start working out the positioning of this image um, one of the first things that we're going to do is actually uh, flip it horizontally just so that it looks um, a little bit better don't worry about too much uh, the signage on the door that it's back to front because it's so far away and the image is so small you're not even going to be able to tell. So let's start by positioning our image in the uh, top left hand corner. Start uh, gradually getting rid of anything that you don't want um, and this is going to be a bit of a slow process this one trying to make sure that our image is actually going to fit in properly. So it's going to take a lot of distorting um, here and there to get our image looking as accurate as possible. Um, feel free to use the magnifying glass or the navigator to zoom in and out. Um, it's best that you start zooming in quite a fair bit just to make sure that um, all the little details of um, deleting anything is, is accurate. You don't want to be deleting something and then having to retrace your steps and go back. So um, zoom in so that um, your image is almost full screen and so that you can accurately see what you're doing. Now as you can see what we're doing now is just distorting um, the, the top and the bottom of the image so that the top of it lines up with our black bulkhead that we uh, put in a, a couple of videos ago um, and also the baseline. Again this is really important that we get this straight. The left hand side isn't, uh, isn't straight enough, um, so again, keep distorting that until um, you're happy with what you've done. Uh, just gradually keep deleting um, things as you go, keep moving it over to the left until uh, you're going to be happy with it. Now there's a couple more changes that we need to make. Um, as you can see above the signage there's a couple of things that are poking out. So it's just a matter of getting the uh, lasso tool and going around that and just simply deleting that. And no one will ever have known that this image was brought in. Uh, this will be the last video before we actually um, start bringing people in. But what we're going to do now is just tidy it up so you can delete um, the rest of the image on the right hand side um, and there you have it.